Marie Curie was a great scientist. She discovered two elements on her own. The story is about a moment in Marie Curie's life in which she was really laid low. She's having a huge full-on breakdown at that point. The play really kicks off with me going to France to collect her and bring her back to England to a beautiful house that I have on the coast of England and to save her life. It's a story of a friendship. Nobody knows, obviously, what happened in those nine months. But Lauren has fantastically just blown the whole thing open and imagined this. She's imagined it. She's taken all the facts and what it might be to have a friend like that. This show captures an aspect of female friendship that is, that is very um, steely, that is a strength that can, if you're down, you can have a female friend come to you and say, get up. <laughs> There's a bit of tough love, um, which of course comes out of a real true generous spirit and generous love. And I do think, I found that to be true in my own female friendships. And it's really amazing to see that reflected back to me on stage and in this rehearsal room. It's an utterly universal thing to, to have, find yourself at rock bottom to figure out how to get back up to navigate, women navigating the things that we're navigating today, the, the, the things that we're navigating in terms of the workplace, in terms of the way that we feel empowered or not empowered in our lives. Um, all of those things are utterly resonant through this friendship. My hope is that audiences love getting to spend an evening with these two very full women, both uh, Marie Curie and Hertha Ayrton as um, full human beings and their ambitions and their hopes and their motherhood and their careers and also uh, in the presence quite honestly of Francesca Ferradani and Kate Mulgrew who are incredible and I'm loving being in the rehearsal room with them every day. It's a wonderful gift to be able to give people.